Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the moon card over there and this is about being a bit confused about things. You know, um, it's got the five of cups over here, which is about being disappointed in something or having a little bit of regret about something that you've done uh, in the past. So maybe feeling a bit low about things. Um, but generally, the moon card in the uh, Lenormand deck is about achieving a lot of success. So you might be feeling a bit emotional at this particular moment. But success is coming to you. You've got this brand new moon over here, which is talking about, you know, success coming. It's the beginning of a new cycle as far as work goes. And there's a lot of stars, so there's going to be a lot of recognition for whatever you've done. So um, there's somebody around you as well that is very, very stable. You've got this four of um, diamonds over there. So, you know, uh, there's somebody probably at your workplace, who gives you that support that you need. But with this Four of Diamonds, it's about financial stability uh, and, uh, you know, having really uh, faithful friends around you and people that support you in your endeavors. Uh, you've got the book over here, so there could be something that has not come to light yet for you, uh, but this could also be an offer for further study as far as your work goes, and that coming into your arena soon. Now, in the past, you've got the Ten of Diamonds, so it seems like you've ended an old job. You've even got that uh, scythe and, uh, you know, it's slashing through something that you've been working for. So it looks like you've ended an old job situation and you've moved on. And maybe you've gone on by yourself because you've got the Cat card over here, and this is about, you know, being independent, working independently. But you could also be dealing with a lot of people around you that have been, you know, false, uh, uh, you know, people that you couldn't rely on. But it seems to be, you know, with that Eight of Cups, it's about walking away from a difficult situation. So you seem to have ended a job. It was something that you had been working for for a long time, but you left it and, and walked away from it. And now maybe you've gone on off by yourself. Even with that Eight of Cups card, uh, you know, the Eight of uh, Hearts is similar to the Eight of Cups. It's walking alone by yourself, walking away by yourself. So it looks like with the Cat being an independent card, uh, being very independent in the card, as well as with the Eight of Cups, you know, walking away from a very, uh, you know, established situation because it was no longer serving you or you couldn't uh, you make any progress in that situation. Uh, it seems like you've, you've uh, you know, gone off on your own journey. You, you're cutting out the past or uh, changing jobs and going off uh, on your own. So you might even be starting your own business as well. And maybe this is the reason why you have a little bit of doubt and fear as to what is going to be coming in for you. Now, going into the future, you've got the Queen of uh, Diamonds here, and you've got this Children card. So, brand new beginnings coming as far as finance goes, and it looks like you're going to be very, very successful as well with that Queen of Diamonds. And the Sun card is the final card, so this is about celebrating achievement. Uh, the Sun always brings in something positive, and it brings in a lot of success. And then there's a Three of Hearts over there, which is about, you know, getting together, gatherings with people, and uh, celebrating, uh, you know, um, some kind of wonderful event that is coming in. So it looks like you're going to start off by yourself, but, um, you know, you've, you've, you've changed direction, it seems, but there's a lot of success, uh, financial success coming in for you, and a lot of celebration coming in for you. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the Ramesses Tarot here. Okay, let's see. So at the bottom, you've got the Nine of Swords. So you're going through a phase where you're very, very anxious about something, uh, you know, in your work. There might be even a legal situation you might be dealing with that is causing a lot of anxiety. Um, you know, there's a case of heads will roll kind of uh, issues going on. So something's on the line here. Your do job's on the line. Your career's on the line. Somebody's giving you a lot of grief as well. And it's making you very, very unhappy as well. So you're very, very anxious. You're probably not sleeping at night, having a lot of nightmares. Uh, you are... Uh, predicting the worst case scenario with that nine of swords now you've got the two of cups over there and the sun card so there's no need for all that worry and anxiety it seems like there is somebody around you there that is going to help you out uh you have got a good collaboration coming in over here with that two of cups and making plans for the future here you need to rely on your intuition but also act independently you've got another cat in this two of cups with the sun card it's you know you've left behind uh the crowd and you're moving off by yourself and this is allowing the sun to come in, uh, you know, the clouds to part and the sun to come in. And you've got this really big statue um, 
uh, there. And it looks like whatever you have, you've got great visions of greatness or big visions of greatness, uh, whatever project you have is going to be very successful and it's going to bring in a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people recognize, a lot of people will give you merit for it. But you're going to have to leave the crowd behind. So you're going to have to do something different. So it looks like you might be taking, making a decision to go off on your own or start something off by yourself. And it looks like, you know, it's going against the crowd. You're not doing what everybody else is doing. You're doing your own thing right now. And it looks like it's going to be very successful. It's going to grow, uh, grow into something very, very successful. This is Ramesses, uh, and, uh, you know, this is a, a really big statue of him. So something really, really successful coming in. And the Sun card always talks about success after a lot of hard work. So you are going to be doing a lot of hard work, but a lot of success coming in as well. And in the past, you've got the Justice card, so there might have been some kind of legal situation that you went through, and a decision was made. And it doesn't look like it was in your favor. It looks like, you know, it, it was something that didn't quite work out how you wanted it to go. Uh, You've got the Ten of Swords over here, so um, it was difficult. There was a lot of conflict uh, in that situation, and whatever that, whatever happened, you've had to just cut your losses and move. Uh, it was very. There was a lot of drama in it, a lot of problems, and you've had to end that situation and move forward. Now, in your mind, you've got the Five of Cups. So there, go. Uh, you know, feeling disappointment, feeling upset. Uh, you know, feeling a lot of regret. But that cycle is coming to an end. Uh, you might be having a lot of nightmares as well. So not sleeping very, very well. Just very, very worried. There's a card. You know, you're very, very worried and very, very anxious. Uh, you know, you're. You, it seems like you're expecting the worst to come in. And this is maybe because of that Ten of Swords decision or whatever happened there, uh, as far as the legal case that went, was you know very dramatic. Uh, and very upsetting as well. It's almost like a tower uh, event, a tower moment. And if you look in this card, there is a tower there. So it looks like, uh, you know, it caused great changes and maybe a great loss as well. So going to the future, you've got the Queen of uh, Wands, and this is your card. So you are acting on your intuition. You've got that eye opened over there. You're getting a lot of insights, a lot of spiritual insights as well. And, you know, you are somebody that people can turn to. You have control of that situation. You look quite relaxed in it. You know how to wield your power. So that is how people are seeing you, and this is what's coming in for you, a position of authority and being in charge, and, uh, you know, you're able to uh, make things happen, really. So there's a new project that you're doing. It's a big project over there. Uh, and uh, maybe there are some things that are a bit hidden from you at the moment, uh, but you are now undertaking this new venture. And uh, this is like changing your life path. You've got that anchor sign over there. Uh, and it's moving towards uh, more stability as well with this new project. So it's going to get you, uh, you know, into a more stable position. Now you've got the Five of Swords. You're still dealing with a lot of uh, drama from uh, what happened as far as this legal situation goes. Uh, it's tying you up a little bit. You're feeling a bit... Um, you know, as though, you, you know, you're almost a slave to it. You're being tied up by that situation, restricted by that particular situation. Uh, there's somebody that's pulling the strings as well. This person can be a bit manipulative, a bit vindictive, uh, and, you know, it's causing a lot of stress for you with this Five of Swords. Now, you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So uh, this is trying to take control of the situation, but also dealing with that legal situation that you went through. So it seems like you're cutting your losses. You've got that bloody sword over here. So it was a very sticky, nasty, awful situation, and you've had to actually cut it. And maybe you're worried uh, that it's going to come back and, and give you grief as well with that Queen of Swords. You also might be worried about going and starting your own thing uh, you know, starting off by yourself uh, with that Queen of Swords. It's about cutting your ties, but also feeling a little lonely in going off by yourself. So uh, going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Knight of Swords over here, the King of Chalices, and that Six of Swords. So there's still something going on here. You're still expecting some kind of news, or there might even be somebody that brings you this, um, you know, official news or dealing with uh, the law or dealing with legal, uh, somebody legal as well, maybe even getting legal advice. You could also be dealing with somebody who is causing a lot of problems for you, uh, you know, um, causing a lot of legal problems for you with this Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is very disruptive, they're arrogant, they are uh, very manipulative, so you could be dealing with that kind of energy. They could be, um, you know, an air sign, it could be Libra, um, Aquarius or Gemini, but generally it's that energy of being uh, a bully or being somebody that is really nasty, and that's the kind of energy, you know, somebody who causes a lot of drama, a lot of problems, and then and then goes off. So you know, maybe something is coming in, and as far as news goes, that upsets you a bit. It's, you know, it's something legal, but this could also be the energy of that person that you're dealing with. 
Now you've got a choice to make here. So there's two offers that are on the table for you or two options that you have and you're really considering it over there with that uh, King of Cups. And finally, you've got that sink, Six of Swords. So you do need to strategize. You need to go and do some research. This is a pretty old person. Uh, you need to go and do some research and get some knowledge and you have to come up with a, a plan, strategize. It's very important. You can see all these swords in this kind of... Um, what is it? It's like a chessboard almost. Uh, so uh, you, in this grid, it's a grid. Uh, so you have to come up with a plan uh, in order for you to um, uh, move forward. The Six of Swords is, you know, moving away from a difficult situation, moving away from that Five of Swords is the Six of Swords. But in this deck, it's, you know, it's an old crone. She knows, she knows a lot of uh, knowledge. You might need to co consult with somebody and ask them for advice, or you might need to go into, and do some uh, research and find out about how how you can actually change the situation, how you can come up with a new plan. You definitely need to come up with a new plan, uh, you know, and uh, you might need to get some advice for that. So I'm just going to draw some uh, cards from the fairy tale. So uh, it looks like you're leaving a very difficult situation and going off by yourself. There was a lot of drama. There's some, still some kind of legal issues that you are dealing with uh, that's restricting you in a bit. But for the most part, it looks like there's going to be success that comes in for you and a good partnership coming in, a good business partnership coming in for you. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, fairy tale here. And this is the Two of Spring, which says a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity partnership with others who share your dreams great progress being made so definitely that partner is going to be very uh, important in your business and uh, or whatever you're doing with it as far as your work goes and this is going to help you progress so that two of cups important very supportive person and they're going to you know help you uh, achieve goals and then you've got the princess of spring over here it says it's time to go after your dreams do something that expands your horizons let your creativity take flight so this is about, uh, you know, um, following new projects. This could be about travel, communication uh, with uh, people from overseas or foreigners. Um, and it's time for you to actually put that energy into play and start working on this uh, Ace of Wands there. So whatever that project is, you need to put all your effort into it to make it um, happen. And then finally, you've got the King of Autumn. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good person or company to work with. So whatever you set up is going to be very established. Or if you're working in a new company, it's going to be a very good company to work with. And it's definitely going to bring in the money because the King of Autumn is the King of Pentacles. So you're either getting a leadership position, but definitely bringing in money. This is the money card of the deck, really. Uh, and this is about being you know, on top of things and enjoying luxuries or enjoying the wealth that it brings. And it's a really good, stable position. And here again, you've got that dog sitting next to him. So there's somebody that's very faithful and will help you out. You've got somebody, you know, with that two of cups as well that's talking about it. You've got that two of spring. And here you've got this king with this dog next to him. So somebody that's going to help you all along the way. And you are going to be able to achieve your goals and bring in a lot of money and success. Um, so um, make sure you have a plan in place, though. You do need to be strategic. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.